Now moving to the projectile in horizontal projection. Consider the projectile, say a ball thrown the horizontal with initial velocity that is the u from the top of the tower. That means that is the height h. So here it is the ground surface. So ball up the a certain height length that we throw upon row. So that means it is the ball. It is in a certain height. That means it is the h. So it means it is the y direction. So here we are using the y equal to h. It is moving in a horizontal direction with the initial velocity. That means u vector. So that is the initial velocity. The ball thrown in a horizontal direction. So that means it is moving a horizontal direction. After that vertically downward distance. Because of the constant acceleration due to gravity. So after that it is moving the downward direction. So that means it is the horizontal direction. So here it is the vertical direction. That means at the reach of the point on the ground means it is the A. So that distance in a horizontal means we are using the X. So that is the horizontal projection. As the ball moves it covers the horizontal distance. Due to the uniform horizontal velocity that is the u vector. After that vertical downward distance means because the constant acceleration due to gravity. Under the combined effect means the ball moves along the O P A. So that means that is the path of the projectile is called the trajectory. The motion in a two dimensional plane. One is the x axis another one is the y axis. So it is a two dimensional plane. So the ball taking the time t to reach the ground at the point a means they are the two distance travelled. One is the horizontal distance. One is the horizontal distance travelled by the ball. That means x of t it is equal to x. So another one is the vertical distance. Travelled by the ball. That means y of t it is the y. Because the horizontal distance another one is the vertical distance. Vertical distance means that is the y. Horizontal distance means it is the x. So that is the two dimensional plane. So here jumping the one person certain height to below the height. So here jumping means it is the horizontal. After that it is reaching the downward means it is the vertical direction. So we can apply the kinematic equation along the x and y direction. Apparent direction line we apply panana. Kinematic equation apply panana because they are two dimensional motion. The velocity will have both horizontal component for the varilo ux in the group. So here it is the horizontal component means that is the ux. So another one is the vertical component means. That is the U, Y. So they are the two component. So now moving to the motion along the horizontal direction. Motion along the horizontal direction. Up horizontal direction for the varilo. The particle has the zero acceleration along the X direction. X direction la namakku vandu acceleration eduthingena is the zero so after that initial velocity portha varaiyilum andha component la nama eduthadhu enna na ux it is the constant throughout the motion appa and the horizontal direction la it is the constant throughout the motion of the initial velocity ipa nama enna calculate pananna distance traveled in a projectile at a time t by the equation already we know the S equal to ut plus of at squared. That means distance travelled by the object. So in the distance travelled by the projectile at the time t a poor the varilam every other lana horizontal direction nala x in the hero that velocity ux that is the t plus of acceleration due to gravity that is the a ilana g in a subject panicula. But acceleration due to gravity, what do you 
along the x direction பொருத்து வரையிலும் is the 0 so finally நம்ம் எழுதும் போது x equal to ux t நினு சொலலாம் so that means the motion along the horizontal direction now moving to the motion along the downward direction that means it is the vertical direction இப்பா downward direction பொருத்து வரையிலும் எந்த direction எடுக்கண்ணும் நம்ம y direction எடுப்போ NCL velocity இங்கிரது அவங்க குடுத்தது horizontalல்லதான் நம்ம திரோப் போன்றும் அப்பா UX இங்கிரது எடுக்கலாம் பட் NCL velocity இங்க என்ன சொல்லோனா UY is zero பட் acceleration due to gravity பொருத்த வரையிலும் acceleration இங்கிரது எர்த்தோட gravityலேந்து இருக்கும் so that means it is G இப்பா S பொருத்த வரையில் நம்ம எப்படி எடுத்துக்கலாம் uyt plus of a இங்கிருதுக்கு பது g t squared அப்பா u y இங்கிருது இடுது 0 means the term total of 0 வாயிரும் அப்பா y equal to of g t squared so இதிலேந்து நாம் என்ன பண்லான்னா இந்த t இங்கிருது time depend மண்டுது எதை வைத்து depend மண்டும் நா இந்த previous equation depend மண்டும் அப்பா x equal to u x t இங்கும் போது time எடுத்துக்கலாம் time போருத்த வரையில் x divided by ux இங்க சப்ஜுட் பொண்ணம் நா that value y equal to of g x squared by ux squared so rearrange பண்ணி எலுதும் போது நமக்கு என்ன எலுதிரம் நா constant term எடுத்துக்கும் acceleration due to gravity ux squared இங்கிரது இடுது constant NCL velocity இன்னு சொல்லி இருந்தும் after that x squared so that means y equal to k x squared So, K यहोड value इपाथिंगे ना, it is the constant value G by 2 Ux squared. So, इप्प नम्म इन्द equation नम्म एन्ना नुसोल रहम ना, it is the parabola equation नुसोलला. अप्प पार्थ पोर्थ वरेलूं, followed by the projectile means, is a parabola. It is the curve पोर्थ वरेल, नम्म अल्रेडी नम्म सोली इरुंद दिये नन्ना, O, P, A नुसोली इरुंद. � parabola so that is the vertical direction another one is the horizontal direction of the projectile moving